Okay, so um, let's have an example. Mary had a little plank. Okay, a uniform plank of length L and mass M is supported by a by but may adito by scales. So lara yung dapat yung anayan. By scales a distance d from Dami nung typo na ito. Sorry for that. From dapat yan. From the ends of the board as shown. A. Find the reading on the skills when Mary, with mass M, stands on the left end of the plank. And B. Sergio climbs on the, onto the plank and walks towards Mary, who jumps to the floor when the plank starts to tip. So, ibig sabihin, sobrang laki ng uh, mass nilang dalawa, kaya magtitip over yung object. <laughs> Hindi na kaya na static equilibrium yan. He keeps walking all the way to the left and end of the plank. And when he gets there, the skill supporting the right end of the plank comes zero. Um, well, becomes so the scale becomes dapat to. Sorry for the grammar grammatical mistake. Um, find serious mass. Okay. Uh, I'll just show you the solution. Wait lang, dali lang. I'll just show you the solution to this problem. Okay. Okay. So again, you have this uh, example here. First, we want to determine the reading on the scale. So the question is, what does the reading on the scale signify? Halimbawa, meron kang weighing scale, tapos ay object ka na we need. Ano yung measure exactly ng weighing scale? Ano yung measure ng weighing scale? Okay, sige. Ibalikan lang natin yung Newton second do natin. So, we have a weighing scale, tapos meron kang mass na we know weight check. So, remember, the object will exert a force on the... Of course, ang makikita mo ay scale reading ng, ng weight. Pero, actually, in, in practice, ang talaga measure mo dyan ay yung force na ina-exert ng object dun sa weighing scale, which is what? Anong nature nun? Anong nature ng force na yun? Weight. Weight ba? Weight, remember, the, the weight will act on Earth, so not on the on this platform here. Ayan, naalala niya yung marami na kamali dun sa exam item na yun. Dun sa which of the following constitutions an action reaction pair. In strictly speaking, ang, ang interaction force ng object at saka ng weighing scale, normal force, di ba? Kasi surface yan eh. Di ba? <laughs> Hindi siya necessarily weight. It just happens na equal yung weight at saka yung normal force ng object kasi at rest siya. Wala nang ibang forces na nag-act dyan eh. Kaya, ang namamessure ng weighing scale ay weight. So, di ba? But te technically, it's the normal force exerted by the object on the weighing scale that is acted, that is uh, measured by the weighing scale. Kaya kung halimbawa mag-weigh ka ng object sa, sa, for example, an elevator, hindi magiging pareha sa weight mo yan. It will not be the same. You will not get, you will not get your correct mass if you um, do the measurement in an elevator, in a moving elevator. Diba? Naalala yun? Remember that? Huh? Gets ba? Yes, sir. I hope you I hope you get it. Important na yun. <laughs> now, going back, back to the tanong yun, kasi this weighing scale here, therefore, since um an of the, the plank will exert a normal force on the weighing scale, in return, the weighing scale will exert a normal force on the plank. Diba? So um, if you draw a free body diagram here, or well, strictly speaking, an extended free body diagram, ang mangyayari, ganito. So um, let me draw an extended free body diagram. So uh, as usual, magdodrawing ako na mag-drawing ako ng plank dyan. Tapos si Maria, instead of gawin natin siyang tao, gawin na lang natin siyang box. Kasi we will treat Maria as a particle. So si Maria, andito siya sa gilid. Uh, tapos i-move ko siya dito sa baba. Yan. Tapos, um, let's say that the wing scale are fulcrum. So, so pwede mong ilagay yung axis of rotation dyan. In fact, you can place the axis of rotation anywhere. Again, statics to. Uh, so let's say this is the first mass. And this is the second, um, sorry, first wing scale and the second wing scale. Tama? Nakuha? Get stuck? Yes, sir. Now, um, and then, um, the distance, the distance from um, um, the edge of, of, the, of the plank towards the first uh, wing scale is, let's say, D. Similar to this, D rin yung distance na yan. So, um, symmetric yung system. And then after that, uh, um, the total length of the plank is, let's say, capital L. Okay? And then, um, given naman yon. And then after that, the, the, the plank is not, uh, is not massless. May, 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 may mass din yung plank. Saan ngayon yung position nung, um, saan mag-aak ngayon yung, yung, um, yung weight ng plank? Saan siya mag-aak? Saan? Sa so weighing scale. Really? Again, you have a uniform plank. Uniform plank to. Saan siya dapat mag-aak? Saan mag-aak yung weight? Lagi namang downward yan, di ba? Pero saan siya mag-aak? Siyempre, sa center of mass or sa center of gravity. Of course, um, strictly speaking, sa center of gravity, dito siya pa siya mag -act, diba? So, let's draw the forces. So, let's draw the forces. Uh, huh. So, okay. What is the direction of the force of the weight of Maria? Maria will be, of course, downward, diba? Downward yung magiging force niya. Tapos, ngayon, of course, 
uh, the weight of the plank is also downward. Ganito rin siya. Let's say pa ganyan. Okay? Pasensya na hindi ko ma-point uh, ma talaga dun sa exactly sa center of uh, gravity. Pero ganun lang din yun. Okay. And then after that, what is the force exerted by the weighing scale on the plank? Ano ngayon yung magiging directions niya? Ano dapat yung magiging directions niya? Upward. Yes, correct. It should be upward. So this is the, one of the forces. And this should be another force that's acting upward. Okay? Nakuha? Nakuha to? Yes, sir. Okay, I hope this is clear. So let's label the, the forces. Um, so this is um, simply small mg. Where ca small m denotes the mass of Maria. And then um, capital M, g vector, is the weight of the, um, of, the, uh, of the plank, where capital M denotes the mass of the plank. And then let's just say N1 is the normal force exerted by the first um, weighing scale or the weighing scale at the left. And N2 is the wing, it's the normal force exerted by the weighing scale at the right. So, ganyan. Ngayon, um, importante din sa atin, itong distance na to. Wait lang. Let me change my pen. Uh, importante din itong distance na to. The distance from the first weighing scale to the second weighing scale given by L minus 2D. Kita nyo naman bakit L minus 2D yan, ha? It's L minus 2D. Nakuha? Yes, Now, sir. Okay. Also, itong distance na to, this is L minus 2D. All over two. Okay, important again later. So now let's solve the what's um asked. So meron na tayong extended free body diagram. Ang gagawin na lang natin ay magset up na equations of motion at magsolve ng problem. So the question is, what is what are the readings in the scales? So, so what are the readings? So, the readings on the scales are basically. The normal force. This is this is just the normal force, um, equivalent. Again, um, act of forces come in pairs. So technically, yung harap mong readings on the scales are force exerted ng plank dun sa weighing scale. So this is the force exerted by the plank on the weighing scale. On the scales. Okay. Now. So, um, this is equivalent to the normal force exerted. They have the same magnitude. So, pwede mong hanapin yung normal force na lang na ina-exert nung plank, ay nung weighing scale sa plank. Kasi parehas lang naman yung magnitude niyan, by Newton's third law. So, this is also find, equivalent to find N1, finding N1 and N2. Okay? Question. So, may tanong? May tanong? Wala. 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 Okay. Now, okay. So, ganito. Summation, wala namang x direction ng summation of forces, so we don't need to write it. We can use, use Newton's second law for um, Newton's second law. And say that we have summation of forces acting on y um, uh, for the plank is equal to zero. Siyempre, zero yan, statics to eh, Which is just equal to what? The, um, we have uh, n1 plus M2, minus MG, minus capital M, G. Tama? Tama? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, what about the torques? Ito na yung sinasabi ko na pwede kang mag-choose arbitrarily ng kahit anong axis of rotation. And ang rule of thumb, para, madali, para dumali buhay mo, i-choose mo yung axis of rotation such that um, one of the unknowns will vanish. Paano? Uh, let's say, for instance, I want to determine first N1, uh, N2. N2 na muna hanapin ko. If I want to determine N2, what I will do is I'll place my axis of rotation at N1. So place my axis of rotation, the axis of rotation at N1. Then, ang mangyayari, ano lang mangyayari? What is the torque exerted by N1, therefore? Ano mangyayari sa torque na ina-exert ni N1? Zero. It will be zero because the axis of the, the the length of the lever arm is zero, and you've located the axis of rotation at n one. And di ba na di nabawasan na yung unknowns, ba? Diba? You can actually now solve for m two. Iyong e maganda sa statics. Um, even though that you have two unknowns, you can place um the axis of rotation at the first unknown, solving the second unknown. Kasi pwede mo na siyang solve uniquely. So yon. So summation of torques is just equal to zero, which is just equal to what? So first, hanapin natin yung torque exerted by by the weight of Maria. So M, Mg, um, R cross F, Mgd, out of the paper. So I have a positive Mgd, positive Mgd, 
Kasi kaya walang sign kasi perpendicular yung plank dun sa um dun sa theta. And then after that, so yung n mo hindi mag-exert um uh, r cross mg the I'm talking of the torque exerted by the by the weight of the plank r cross mg into the paper so I have a negative pero ang lens niya ay ito this lens here is the lens that I'm talking about that's your r r cross mg into the paper and hence I have a minus mg quantity l minus 2d all over 2 tama tama yes tama okay and then after that we also have n2 yun yung hinahanap natin di ba so we have r r cross m2 out of the paper so this is again um positive tama so out in out so out of the paper so this should be positive so this is positive n2 times what ano na lang yan Ano na lang yan? And two times, this length here. What is this length here? Ano tong length ato hanggang sa... Hanggang sa um, you started with this, papunta ka dito. So this is that length. So, ito yun. So this is L minus 2D. And two multiplied by L minus 2D. Okay? Nakuha? Nakuha to? And note yes, here, lahat ng mga to dito given. Given yung mga distances at saka masses na yan. What is not only, give, not only given here is N2. You can solve there for N2 uniquely. Hence, solving for n2, we see that n2 is just equal to what? Um, this is mg, quantity L, uh, factor out going to us, so we have mg over 2 times L minus 2d, pero meron kang 1 over L minus 2d, kasi may L minus 2d ka dito, you divide both sides by L minus 2d, and then minus an mg, D quantity L minus 2D. Tama. Tama. Ang ginawa ko lang, dilipat ko to sa other side ng equation and then divide both sides by L minus 2D. Nakuha? Nakuha? Get? Yes, sir. So this will cancel out. Uh, and therefore, the normal force exerted by the second weighing scale is simply 1 of mg minus mg, small mg, D over L minus 2D. This is the answer that we want. Okay? Questions? So, may tanong? No. Nakuha to? That, so that's the second wing scale. What about the second um, wing scale reading? What about the first? What about the first? Anong makukuha ni first? You can just use this equation, equation 1. This is equation 2. This is equation 3. Um, therefore, I'll just substitute my equation 3 to my equation 1 and see that... So that N1 is what? N1, diba 0 equals N1 plus M2 minus the sum capital M plus M um, G. And thus, therefore, N2, uh, sorry, N1 equals um, capital MG minus small MG minus um, N1. And the joke. Tama, tama, tama. Tama naman. Tama naman. So, I, minus N2, but N1 yan, sorry. Minus N2. So this is simply capital MG minus small mg minus the quantity 1 half mg. I'll just substitute minus small mg D over L minus 2D. Okay, and when you solve that, so ito magiging 1 half yan, ito magiging 1 half yan, ito pwede mong i-tawag uh, dito, i-manipulate yan, you will see that N1 is actually 1 half capital MG plus small mg multiplied by L minus D all over L minus 2D. Pakicheck na lang. This is the normal force exerted by the wing scale on the plank. And therefore, the magnitude of the scale reading at the, at the first wing scale is given by N1. Nakuha. Nakuha. Yes, sir. Okay. I hope this is clear. Now, letter B. What about letter B? For letter B, um... Again, ang tinatanong ay, ano, yung mag ano dapat yung mass ni Sergio for the weighing scale supporting the right plank to be zero? Therefore, we need to set the normal force exerted by this weighing scale here to be zero. So let ms, let ms be the, um, the, the mass. Be Sergio's mass. 
Okay, then um, n2 must be equal to zero. Tama? N2 must be equal to zero. Tapos, we can always um, we set uh, our axis of rotation to be at n1. Kasi may n1 ka pa eh. Hindi mo alam yung n1, pero hindi ka naman interested kay n1. Therefore, you can um, just place your axis of rotation at the position of n1. So, in that case, uh, at the point um, where, n1, uh, where n1 acts. So, therefore, ang mangyayari lang, so instead of mg dito, papalitan mo itong ngayon ng msg. Ms, where mass, ms is um, serious mass, di ba? Okay. So, ang mangyayari, n2 is 0. We set this to be zero and say that, so we have another plank here. Uh, let me just draw it manually na lang para madali. Meron akong plank dito. Uh, ito yung mass serio, MSG. Um, ito yung, uh, so ito yung first being scale. Ito yung um, mass ng plank, capital MG. Tapos wala ka ng ibang forces. Uh, meron kang N1 dito, pero di ka interested dyan. So thus, summation of torques is just equal to zero, which gives you, uh, if you do the, the calculation here, so this is length D, tapos ito ay L minus 2D over 2. Kasi nasa center ka. And thus, lipat ko to ha, summation of torques is zero, which is just equal to, um, calculating the torque of the of Sergio, so we have um, R cross F into the, out of the paper, so positive to, I have a positive MSGT, tapos um, R, R cross F into the paper minus MG quantity L minus 2D over, over T. Okay, again, the second normal force uh, will be zero by that by because of the condition in the problem. So, uh, and thus, Serio's mass can be easily calculated. The G's will cancel here. And therefore, this is simply m over 2, L minus 2D all over, oh, sorry, all over D. Tama? Therefore, the mass of Serio is given by that equation there. Nakuha. Nakuha tong quant, ano na to? Did you get this? Yes, sir. Okay, I hope this is clear. Nakuha. So basically, again, in solving statics problems, better na iset nyo na axis of rotation yung mga hindi nyo alam. Yung mga, yung mga unknowns nyo para mabawasan yung mga unknowns sa equation. Okay? Questions? Wala? Wala naman? Okay, wala. Okay. 